guys this is Joe here and today I'm doing a brand new tutorial and this tutorial is permissions EX so I'm going to be showing you how to mainly configure the plugin to your standards plus as well I'll be providing a default config what I've made previous so make sure you subscribe and like the video a lot of time and planning has gone into this video so yeah let's get started so there's a few things I want you to get before we actually start doing the configs we need to get these plugins now you want vault essentials and permissions ex all the links are down below and it's just going going over to permissions ex finding the latest version so this could be you know two point something whenever you see this video and just download the latest version so we'll quickly download this one keep then we'll come over to essentials when you're on the essentials page click on the blue link or the blue box and come over here and look for build history this one over here then click on the latest build now you want to download essentials x essentials chat essentials protect essentials spawn now once you've got them they're the ones you need make sure you have essentials and essentials chat at least that's what actually enables the prefixes and then last of all you need vault for plugins so we'll just download the latest one available and keep so now you've got all your plugins downloaded put them into your server start your server up and once you're at that stage you will have these files so these are all default files are set for permissions ex then on the last link down below it will take you to a dropbox link so this is where the default configs are download it it will be a zip file so right we've got it downloaded I'll quickly open this up on my desktop to show you so all you want to do is in your server as you see here delete permissions EX and replace it with this one it's got the exact same stuff in so we'll look but this has been pre-built for you to use the only difference is it's actually got groups in and the only alteration I've done in the config is allow ops so that is you don't always have to add permissions to allow your ops to use everything you can turn that off it's entirely up to you right then let's start configuring our groups to our server so as long as you've swapped over them files i told you to swap over we should be set so when you first come in you should see all this information in this one file so then i'm going to go through explaining all these different options and what you can do in here and uh yeah so let's get cracking so to start off with you can run this file on your server straight away without any editing it's that's how i've set it up just run it away but let's say you want to start tweaking it and making it custom to your server that that's the that's the aim you want to do you want to make it nice and custom to your server adding colors and all this in there so i'm going to go through these options right here and then there's a few more further down here so in each in each group you have a set of options normally it's just this lot here but in the first group you have a default um, line what this default is it is when a new player joins the server it looks what uh, it looks for one of these ranks with a default thing in so let's say I joined your server I've never joined before it will automatically give them player make sure you don't have default on any of your vip or a uh, vip plus and so on make sure you don't have them on your staff ranks as well right then that's that then you got your prefix suffix so that's prefix before the name suffix is after the name and i've set these up now you can add colors to these so i will show you an example of uh, some colors so there's another link down in the description you want to come and look on this and this is the color codes so I'm going to make the brackets light blue and I'm going to make the player gold and I'm going to come back over here and add the blue back on the brackets oh, make sure I get the right codes in so these is just the and signs then the number or letter and then we're going to reset the player's name back to uh, we'll go yellow so once you've done that nice and simple then you can add a suffix it's up to you now you got your weight and your rank these this is where it gets a bit complicated if you're planning to do a prison server these can come in um, quite useful if you're not don't really worry about them you should be okay so I'll just go over them quickly uh, what your weights are is let's say you had a b c d e f g as them as ranks instead 
we don't need to bother because there is a command in the plugin where you can do promote this person and it will look for the next rank from them and it goes off weights a bit complicated but just don't really worry about it if you can stick to my ones you should be okay if somebody wants to tell people down below how it properly works please go ahead then we're on to permissions so the permissions is actually what allows the player to run that command and as you saw earlier this is the essentials permission list so we can look up any command so fly then we can drop down this will be in the description as well and it will give you the permission node so I've already set up the default amount you need to actually play on your server so your player is okay with this then now I'm going to sort of skip ahead a bit we're going to go down to one of the donator ranks and I want to show inheritance. What inheritance does is it will it will look at the previous it will look at the defined rank. So instead of adding all these permissions again to this rank, so you know instead of copying all of them back here, then pasting them down here, we don't have to bother doing that because it is inheriting from the rank before or the rank defined here sorry so as long as so all these ranks are inheriting from the player so if you need a uh, permission what all the players need all you got to do is add them to this one here right then so and that's pretty much it, all the settings and if we let's say if we do want to add a permission node nice and simple we'll add speed to let's say one of the staff members so we'll come down and here's our mod I'll actually zoom in a bit so you can see and all you gotta do is enter backspace space 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 and you just gotta line it up so sometimes it does that but all I, we gotta do is just line it up to that as long as everything lines up like this here you should be okay now if there are any errors you know don't worry about it it'll be fine so yeah that is literally how to configure hopefully you understand I know it can be a bit complicated but once you start learning and you just have a play around with it have a go, and if you, if something goes wrong, just make backups of your fault, uh, files. Anyway, so that's that. So let's put that back out there, and all we gotta do is save, and we're going to the server. Make sure everything's running. So let it just start up. There we go. So just ignore them. A couple of errors at the start. That's just something to do with my Java. Right, no new version. It looks like it all works. So all you're doing now is to jump on to Minecraft and I will be back on the server right then, Minecraft is loaded and I'm going to join the server for the first time with the ranks in here and as you see here it is defined the colors for us because I am opt it will give me a red name but if I de-opt myself you, you should see the color we defined so yeah now I'm going to go over just a few commands, it's not many because uh, the command list is very useful in this plugin. As you can see here, each command here has, you know, it tells you where to put the user, the group, uh, the world, the li lifetime of some stuff. And it gives you a nice description of everything, so very simple, I'm not going to go over it fully. But one, the one thing I am going to go over is actually adding yourself to the owner group. So as it says, or well, first of all we'll do pecs and that gives you a big list as well you can use, it's up to you. So what we need to use is pecs, then user, then the actual username of a person, then we want to go group, so group, sets, owner, and there we go. Now you can add a world if you have multiple worlds, but I just want to set over here, so now when I say D, uh, it will give me owner but let's say you want to add some colors to owner so we're actually going to go back into the file find our plugin permissions now most plugins don't always add a reload command in it is really useful with this is when you're making loads of alterations you just reload the plugin nice and simple so then we're going to make uh, we'll go for we'll go for C and then we'll go for large as well so it'll be all large and then we'll set my name back to uh, purple. So we'll save that. Nice and simple. All we gotta do is go back into game and go pecs, reload. 
that's reload now and now when we say hello and also if I de-up myself de-up and then hello oh it's already set red there's there's lots of things to do with op and everything so don't worry about it but that is the main concept of this plugin so hopefully I've been helpful be you know telling you how to do it if you have any questions please go down below and you know just ask don't worry I'm always willing to help so yeah guys thank you for watching I hope this video has helped you out if you have any questions please go down below and ask them I'm always willing to help I hopefully haven't made it too confusing with this type of plugin you've just got to have a go I know it sounds weird me just saying it but that's how you actually learn most plugins you just need to go and have a go with it and if it breaks it breaks you it's it's only a short amount of thing you can redo and as always it's very simple just to go to the server then we'll go back and just make a copy of the permissions to make it nice and simple so anyway once again make sure you subscribe like go and follow me on my Twitter and always give me your suggestions thank you for watching and I will see you next time